Hello and welcome back to Etheric Tide. This is Lauren with the Aries August 2020 Taroscope. Let's see what's going to be coming in for you for the next month of August. Alright. Let's get the energies for Aries August 2020. Okay. So, first of all, do you feel like you've been holding your tongue? Like, do you feel like there's some people that you would just love to, to tell you how you feel about it and you're stopping yourself from doing so? It feels like you're kind of, like, lost your patience with um, a lot of different people and the things that they're saying. And this could even be, like, through social media. So, like, maybe you're sick of seeing people doing a certain type of post that you just don't like, that you're just kind of sick of. And it's starting to frustrate you that, um, that people are acting the way that they are. And I kind of... I feel like when we see behaviours or things that other people are doing and we're recognising them that the, the only reason we recognise them is because they're active within ourselves or at least a part of us has an active vibration so we're able to recognise it and it's the reason why it can upset us so much. When you have those moments that someone's driving you crazy and you really do, like, have that moment of, like, oh, should I tell them off or should I bite my tongue? It's more along the lines of you can never really make someone do anything and you can't make someone change and you can't make someone really understand your point of view, no matter how loud you tell them, no matter what ways you tell them, what uh, evidence you have. Uh... There's, you, sometimes you need to accept that the journey that somebody is on is the journey that they're on and there's nothing that you can say or do that's actually going to change their point of view but themselves. So what I'm really trying to say is during those moments where it's like you want to have a teaching moment, where you want to tell a person how it is and how they should be, it's, it's going to give you nothing but aggravation and it's actually going to just make things much more difficult for you in the long run because I think that the easiest way is to either completely uninvest your energy or see the ways in which what you're observing is playing out in your own life and fix that because once you do, once you fix the behavior that probably is playing out in your own life you're going to clear that within your vibration and it means you're not going to see it as often people aren't going to present that annoying behavior to you they're not going to present uh, like frustration or anger or inability to understand you and um, defensiveness and things like that I I think that it's going to be a lot quicker and easier and less painful for you if you address whatever parts of yourself you think are playing out um, within you uh, that you're observing. And then you won't observe it as much because it won't be as, as active in your vibration anymore. Okay, so apparently I needed to get that out and it's not the cards are just not wanting to go. I wonder if you've got one over here. Yeah, it's here. Mm-hmm. It's there. Yeah. All right. So we've got contemplation here. Now, this one is obviously referring to kind of like the... They're going to... 11th of August is probably where we're going here. So still within that Leo season, uh, I think that you... They wanted me to refer to like the Lion's Gate, which is like the 8-8. Eight, eight, and that's usually around like prosperity and bringing in abundance and uh, being able to fully shift patterns of behavior before and completely 
re-establishing what what our new perspective is on reality and I think for you guys you're noticing your shift of perception on reality and I think maybe more so than anything and again doing that I'm holding my tongue type situation during the times that you probably would have told a person off you are questioning whether you should do that anymore and whether that's right for you to do anymore because uh, it, it isn't producing the result that you want to. So I think that for you, that's what you're shifting. You're shifting your ability to not allow people in your external reality to affect you so emotionally. Basically, you're learning to not give a shit. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. You're learning to just not care what other people think what other people are doing, what other people are saying about you or about other people. And it's not even like taking that super defensive route of like, I just don't care and I, I'm going to do what I want and I'm going to be who I am and you're just going to have to live with it. It's not even that energy. It's not like that really like sort of vindictive, strong, standoffish type energy. It's more like, you know what, I'm just not about that. I'm not about who you are. I don't need to interact with you. I don't need to feed you or entertain you or this relationship or whatever it may be, whatever the interaction is. I don't even need to like just be a part of it. I'm going to go over here and go be awesome and you have fun. Like, with love, enjoy your journey. That's great. Um, I don't agree with what, what you're doing. That's cool. I just don't need to be a part of it. Like, I get you don't agree with me. That's cool. We just don't need to be, we just don't need to hang. We just don't need, we, we clearly aren't supposed to be friends or we clearly aren't supposed to be partners or, or whatever it is. And that's okay. Just because two different people have don't get along or they're just not right for, if you're just not right for one another, it's not to say that there's something incredibly wrong with you. It's just that you're not right for each other. So um, it's just that simple. <laughs> so I think you get the point. Um, you know what? Like, I, I think that you, I, I think that you don't really need cards because, and that's, that's really like what the message is here. You kind of already know what it is that you need to do. You know what, what things kind of need to play out. Um, I think that you guys have been feeling this for quite some time now that you need to relook at what's not working for you and it's it's all about this reality of not caring um and it's it's pretty freeing like i think for you guys freedom is pretty important and within relationships and i think that quite a lot of you may create your own traps within relationships um so this is going to be an amazing week for you to be able to find your own freedom and just release yourself from some of the bondages of um being so wanting of other people's approval or needing other people's feedback in order to tell you um who you are or what you're about so you're going to be bringing those resources from yourself so what an amazing august that's coming up for you guys um if you would like to book a reading all the details are down the bottom and i do appreciate any karma donations like comment and subscribe and I hope you guys have a beautiful August. I'll see you later. Bye.